Hi all of you, welcome to my video. So in this video, I am going to show you some more basic commands. So let me just uh, browse my key here, and after that, I will paste my uh, that what is the IP IP in this in this session. All right. So let me open my this. Let me first start my server. I haven't start. So in this video, let me open my Microsoft Word. So let me insert a text. First command should be uh, "Who am I?" All right. Who? Who am? Let me write again. Who am I? All right. Who am I? All right. There is no space between uh, "Who am I?" but I have still written here. Now, what it does, uh, it shows you. It shows user. Let me increase this horizontally. It shows your user. My R is not working. I think it is working. My it shows user. All right. So let me uh, paste. Let me first copy my IP from here and paste it here. Now let me change color as well. I haven't selected the color. It should be for today. I think green is good. Now it's time to open this as well. Login as EC2 hyphen user. All right. My R is. It is lagging. I think that is lagging. No supported authentication method available. Uh, EC2 hyphen user. Everything is good. Uh, all right, all right. I have. Uh, I think I have taken something. I have browsed wrong key. Let me load here. Red Hat one. All right. Now it's time to open. And uh, here also. Let me take. Red Hat. So there is all. All right. Already read it, so it's time to enter a key. Enter not key. Let me paste here IP. So now it's time to open login as EC2 hyphen user. All right. Now, as you all can see, I am logged in successfully. So it's time to change color. Let me change to. Uh, which color should I pick? Around? Uh, I think uh, I haven't used red. Should I take this? Let me try. Let me see. It is looking good, but not that much good. It's time to first clear screen. It's now time to do sudo hyphen i, which means to be a root user. As you all can see, root user. So if I let me uh run, let me change the font on all right. I will run command after this. Let me change font size by 28. It is looking smaller. I think now it is good. Or I can change it to 36. Let me try this. Apply. Now it is good. Now this is looking good. Now uh, let me run the command. Who am who am I? Who not li like this? Who am I? Do not insert space between who am and I. All right. Now it's time to run this command. Root. It is showing root because my uh, user is root. If I exit from here, here, let me exit from here. Now, as you all can see, there is dollar sign, which means I am now a regular user. I am now a EC2 user. If I run this command again, let me. Where is my command? All right, I have to write here who am I now you can see that it is showing ec2 hyphen user which means it is showing your that you are this user so I have already showed you uh, how to uh, add user in my previous to previous video all right I already showed you where user you can find where where user is created all right you can find 
here in home if you do ls now as you can see that user 1 user 25 user 66 so now there is one more command let me show you if you run if you write any command and after that if you write hyphen hyphen help so it will show you a small a description you can say uh, an overview of as you all can see it has cat hyphen a you can use this as well all right it shows everything so you can write any command if i write touch you can see hyphen hyphen help now it is showing an overview a description all right as you all can see all right so this is also a good command let me clear screen again and uh, you can check if if you have installed any software let me install some software let me install git so yum what is command yum install git all right so as you all can see there is an error yum install all right let me first be a root user all right sudo hyphen i so now i am as you all can see now i am root user so if i run that command again yum install you can write any name let me write python python now as you all can see that it is in no match argument so python is not matched so there is a different name you can write like python 2 i think this will install check last metadata as you all can see it is asking me to do yes by pressing y as you all can see everything is going right all right so let me up uh, let me check python you can how you can check python python hyphen hyphen version all right so you can check the version let me write r because it is lagging today i, I don't know why python command not found so this is not command so if you install something else like jump install let me try again git so now as you all can see it is asking me to press y to do yes now you can see your git is installing now all right as you all can see that your git is installed and now it's time to check how you can check you can check by typing git hyphen hyphen version all right i think it works let me write again r here because this is creating problem now my r is lagging all right so now you can see that git version is this all right if you want to check where is git installed what is command for that which git you can use this which command for any software for any package not software bin in bin there is git all right so by using this you can check git and also if i do git help hyphen fl help you can check that it is showing you an overview of git all right so let me scroll down a little bit so now it is showing you all the stuff clone repository in it add move symbolic link restore it is showing you everything all right check out and everything related to git and it is showing pull and push as well so i think yeah that this is f about for today all right you have to use your which command to see the path so let me install docker all right let me install docker here docker so now as you all can see that docker is running if i press n it won't you can see operation aborted which means it won't install docker so if i don't want to press y in between the setup in between the installing you can write hyphen y as you all know if i run this now this will not ask you for do yes or no 
all right it will automatically it has done yes all right as you all can see and you can uh, write which docker so it will show you the path where is docker installed all right so let it install successfully after that i will show you how you can uh, see the path where is docker installed all right as you all on can see running script let what is this i know script but this is script let let it installed now as you all can see that your docker is installed now you have to if you want to check version command is docker let me write docker hyphen hyphen version all right hyphen hyphen version you can see the version podman version so let me tell you that podman is i think utility of red hat and uh, docker is a uh, different thing and podman is different i think so let it be right like that so let me check where is docker installed which command is your which docker all right if i run this command now you can see that it is also installed in bin folder all right so you can uh, do stuff like this you can install anything and you can check by uh, running this command which if you want if you are making notes so you can uh, write this command let me write here as well let me first uh, close this server stop this machine not close closing means terminating but i am not terminating right now so i want to but terminate uh, two of the machines i will do it later so now first is your who am i and second one is your uh which all right which it shows you path all right it shows you it shows you path and third one is your uh hyphen hyphen version which means you can run hyphen hyphen version is your command version all right so you can write like this a uh, software not software package name in linux we call it as package name package name and uh, here should be our hyphen hyphen version hyphen hyphen version all right or you can write hyphen v as well but i showed you hyphen hyphen version so you should uh practice this all right so here let me write the command for that which now your package name all right package means software all right let me write here a command as well which package now it shows user who am i now here you have to write you you have to write nothing all right you have to write just who am i and it will show you the user by which you are logged in right now all right so i think these commands are enough for today and um, yeah i will meet you with some more and yeah one more command one more command i forgot i forgot that command hyphen hyphen help so there is a command hyphen hyphen help it shows you short overview and by writing here command you can write here hyphen hyphen help you will get your short overview of that command related to that command all right so yeah i think this is enough for today practice this stuff and in the next video uh, there are i think 10 videos are left or i think more of basic commands after that i will uh, make uh, make videos on particular a topic which means i will make video on user management i will make video on storage management but right now these are some basic commands you should know before that so i am telling you that so i think this is the right time to end this video bye for now